Hey, Vortex. So, uh, I did stand-up comedy last night. It was really bad. Um, I didn't bomb. You know, there are people that laugh. But if I'm uncomfortable in any kind of way up there, I, I think it's bad. And it doesn't matter if other people were impressed or thought it was good. I will argue with them. Like, I got mad. This, this guy said that he had the honor of seeing me. Oh my goodness, shut the fuck up, bitch. Shut the fuck up. I hate that. I hate that for him, that he's like that, you know? I get, though, that whenever a woman is actually funny, and I was thinking about this last night, like, when I was up there, I was like, you're probably the only female that does this. Where, like, you get up there, and you're just like, uh, you know, what do I do? I think that most people, they want to seem like they're confident. I'm definitely confident in what I'm saying, but I'm not really confident on stage. And I think it's because there's always this audience inside my head, and I feel like I'm on stage everywhere I go. So whenever I'm on an actual stage in front of actual people, it's really, really weird. And it doesn't matter how many times I do it, there's still that initial, <sighs> it? Is this what I've been fantasizing about? This is terrible. Why have I been fantasizing about this? I know that I should mention that, but it's like when people say like, oh, it's so amazing that you're a comedian. It's so impressive. I, I could never do that. I could never get up there and do that. Blah, blah, blah. That takes a lot of guts. That's, that's so courageous of you. I don't like that because that makes it seem like anybody that, that gets on stage is, is good, all because they, they got on stage, you know? It's like the same thing, you know, you see these like single moms pull this shit where they're like, you know, I'm a single mother, so, you know, I work so hard, and my man. It's like, well, you know, you chose to sleep with somebody that wasn't a good dude. So that's your own fault. You know, you shouldn't have done that. And, I don't know why you're bragging about doing it wrong, okay? Like that, that child's gonna be screwed up because you're disciplining them. They shouldn't receive discipline from the mom, they should receive discipline from the dad because you should be afraid of your dad. You should be afraid of your dad like you're afraid of God. And I don't mean like terrified, I don't mean like he should beat you into submission or anything like that. I mean, you're not his wife, right? But, <laughs> I just, I think that parents that are too soft on their kids, th their kids are just gonna be total fuck-ups and failures because they're not gonna understand that like, yeah, that self-esteem and all that shit just really, you know, pales in comparison to, like, you know, hard work. Like, you get self-esteem from working, you know? And, then, I mean, people ask me, like, you, you know, you seem so confident in who you are and all that shit. Yeah, yeah, because I worked on it. I worked on, on myself. I know who the fuck I am. Because I worked for this shit, babe. Try working for it, and then you, too, cannot have to take a fucking antidepressant. It's ridiculous. So many people are on antidepressants. And you know, I have several friends on antidepressants. So, you know, don't think that all my friends are just crazy schizos that want nothing to do with the pharmaceutical companies or, you know, there are plenty of people I know that aren't anywhere near as freaked out as they should be. But, you know, everybody makes their own decisions. I can't I can't control what other people do. But anyway, what was I talking about? Just oh yeah, being on stage. 
it never works out the way that I think. It never, like even if, even if I make people laugh and like the joke really, really works, it's like it still isn't what it is in my head. So it's still a fail, no matter what. I'm, I'm bombing no matter what. <laughs> the whole crowd could be in tears from how hard they're laughing and I will still think that I fucking bombed all because I fucked up one little thing, you know? I just don't get the dopamine. I don't get the reward from being up there. There's no reward. I mean, the reward really is just doing it. Driving out there, finding the mic, considering I don't have GPS because I'm better than you because I don't have a smartphone. But you know, that's amazing that I, that I made it out there. It's amazing that I signed up. It's amazing that I walked up there with my fucking keyboard. But, that's not enough for me though. You know, it's like, when you first get sober, you can always like use that as an excuse. Like any terrible thing that you do, you can be like, it's fine because I, I didn't get drunk about it, you know? <laughs> and it, it, it's so fucking, uh, what do you call it? It's a cop out. It is a cop out for sure. Because people think that that's like the only important thing is that, oh, they're sober. I mean, yeah. It is important, but... If you're just using that as some sort of fallback so that you don't have to take responsibility for other things, or you don't have to work on being a better person at all, you know, you could just be like, well, you know, I'm in sober for 45 days, you better run. First of all, you're fucking annoying. You're fucking annoying. People wouldn't care if you went out and got drunk again, okay? Nobody would care. You know why? Because you're annoying. You're annoying and you talk non-stop about your sobriety. And at least with drunk people, they don't talk non-stop about being drunk, they just get drunk, okay? <laughs> you should say that, because that is funny and very true speculation. People in recovery, that's all they do is talk about being in recovery, yet yeah, yeah, supposedly it's fucking anonymous. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, man, I feel like I should at least try to be a little bit more organized when I get up there, but it's just, it just seems so futile. But, anyway, I really don't know how else to end this video other than like, fuck me, right? Fuck me. Anybody thinks that I'm like overly confident and I don't, you know, take the time to evaluate myself and yeah you obviously don't watch this channel son you don't watch this channel it's like you just glance at somebody and you see the way that they dress or the way that they carry themselves or whatever but it's like you just you just see them one fucking time and you think you know them you think you know what it's like to be them you think you know what it's like to live their life you know, I mean, that's that's the level of arrogance that we're at. You know, people don't have any empathy. They and they don't want to either because it's like it's not a comfortable thing to have empathy um, because with empathy comes a lot of humility. And, you know, people don't want that shit, you know, especially if they live in America. <laughs>